welcome to another vlog here in the Rodriguez household. Lucas, ¿a dónde vamos? Where are we headed, Lucas? We are going to the 85. The 85, as you will probably hear many, many times here, is what my children refer to as their grandmother's house. It's the 85. So that's where we are headed. Lucas. We picked up bagels for my husband and I, and we also picked up some coffee. I'll show you guys in a minute. Out of all the tea lattes that I've ever had, this is by far my favorite. It's just been a favorite of mine for several years. I don't know if you guys will be able to appreciate this bagel, but it was actually pretty okay. My husband's bagel looked much nicer and much more delicious because it had sprouts, but mine just had turkey, egg, and cheese, and it's on a plain bagel. One other thing that I picked up here from this coffee shop is their almond croissant. It is absolutely delicious. So I just had half a bagel and the almond croissant. You're silly. Lucas, ¿qué comes? Lucas, ¿qué comes? ¿Está rico? And we have arrived to grandma's house. Ya llegamos. ¿A dónde llegamos, Lucas? ¿A dónde llegamos, Sofía? ¿A dónde llegamos, Sofía? <laughs> so right now the kids are outside with my husband and my mom while they are out in the swing. I'm actually cleaning out my mom's monstera. It has a lot of dead leaves. So before you ever trim any plant, one of the main things that you want to do is that you sanitize scissors or clippers, especially if there are clippers that you are already using to do any trimming on other plants. So you want to make sure that you sanitize it so that if any of your plants have any bacteria or fungus or has any pests that you're not passing it on to the other plant that would otherwise be probably a healthy plant. Keep that in mind when you're trimming your plants. And that's pretty much it. It had, it may have seemed like it didn't have a lot, but it actually did. It had all of these dead ones. Look who decided to join me. He actually really looks for me a lot. I've noticed every time I visit my mom, he really gets nervous around the kids and tries to get away from them. He's been around since 2013. Um, my brother brought him home and he was a tiny, tiny kitten. He was probably just a few weeks old. He came from a stray mama cat who had had a bunch of kittens. Um, I think right outside of my brother's high school. That's how Jeremias ended up in our house. Look. 
Look at this lemon on my mom's a lemon tree. She's had it for a while and she doesn't want to take it off of the tree. She finds it very, very interesting. It is, and it almost looks like a koala. You can see here maybe the head, the koala's hand, koala claw, uh, claw I'm sorry, and then the legs. But it really definitely looks like an animal that's putting its hand, claw, paw in its mouth. It even looks like it has eyes. This is so weird. Can you guys see what just happened here? The darn lemon just fell and my mom is going to kill me. At times, we are leaving my mom's house. As you can tell, we are back home and just wanted to jump in here really quickly and just thank you. I really, really appreciate all the support. I'm really working, I'm really figuring out how I'm going to be doing these videos and make them just nicer looking for you guys. There's going to be a lot of fun content, I promise, uh, coming up in the next few months. So hit the subscribe button down below and also like the video. Make sure to turn on your notifications so that you are notified every time that I upload a video. I still haven't figured out schedules and things like that. But again, it's just a work in progress. You leave me a comment down below saying I watch till the end, then I know who you are. Don't forget to share these videos. It's the only way that this channel is going to grow. It's with your support and uh, sharing this video with friends and family if you think that it will be helpful for anyone else watching, especially these, these vlogs. Um, you know, in the days in the life of a mom of two, it is very tough to be a toddler mom, especially having two, at least for me it is, and I find it very comforting when I watch other uh, YouTube videos of moms with a couple of toddlers or even with one. That's why I am including these videos uh, of how my day goes with my toddlers. But again, if you guys um, would subscribe, turn on the notification, bell up on top in my channel and share this video with your friends and family i would really really appreciate it all right guys i think this is going to be it for today i hope that you guys have a wonderful week and please be safe wear your mask all the time if you can wear a double mask is the only way to i guess get rid of this situation we're in best of wishes for everyone lots of love take care